Well, today we have a new system update, the first for me in 2022. I was alerted to this update in the car when I arrived home this evening. Let me have it download now from the Wi-Fi. Now that it is downloaded, I will let the car do the update. After watching some TV tonight, I went to check on the car a couple hours later. So let's see what the 2022.4.5 update has for us. When the car turns on, the screen is already at the release notes page. By the way, just press control, then software, and then the release notes button right here to get to this page again if you ever need to use it. So let's go down this list in order. First up is regenerative braking in autopilot. It now says that autopilot will now use more regenerative braking at low speeds for higher efficiency and an improved driving experience, especially in stop and go traffic. Increased use of regenerative braking results in less brake pedal noise and smoother stops. Obviously, I can't show you anything with this update right now since this is based on regen while I'm driving. I'll see if I notice any of the improvements in this list over the next few days. Next up, we have Car Colorizer, which says you can customize how your car appears on the touchscreen and mobile app with the Car Colorizer. Change the color of your car's exterior by tapping Controls, Software, Colorizer icon, or using Colorizer in the toy box. Okay, let's do it now. Press Controls then software, and then this little square towards the right of the screen just above the car's name. Now you will see the colorizer screen. Note that the original car's color is in this box on the right side. It will always be there in case you need to reset to the original color. Below the color wheel are choices for the paint type. The car defaults to a solid color. You can also choose metallic or matte. For example, if you have paint protection film installed in your car, you can pick the matte finish for a clear matte finish like Expel Stealth. Next to this is a box for the trim. You can choose chrome, which is standard for the trim on Teslas, especially the Model 3 made before late 2020. Those after that date have black trim. And for those owners with chrome trim that had a chrome delete done, you can pick black to match what your car looks like now. Now I will make one change going from solid to metallic for my midnight silver metallic car. Now press the plus button to save that color. If you press the original color here, it goes back to the original settings. Going back and forth, you can see the effect of changing the paint type. Now choose the color you want for the car. This will be great for those owners that have a vinyl wrap on their car in one of the many colors offered by the various automotive vinyl manufacturers. Say you have a 3M bright yellow vinyl wrap. Scroll the color wheel until you get to yellow. And now use the color square to change the brightness. The upper right is the pure color. Upper left adds white, making it lighter. And lower right adds black, making it darker. Now I'll switch between the different paint types to matte. Matte appears halfway between solid and metallic. I'll also change the trim to black. Press the plus button to save the color settings. As you can see, you can now have multiple paint color presets here along the bottom row. Press and hold any of the color presets, and now you see an X above each one. If you want to delete one, just press the X to delete that particular preset. Press anywhere else in the window to get out of delete mode. So this adds a fun way to customize your car color for display in the car and also in the phone app. 
Going back to the release notes, we have save dash cam clips. Quickly save dash cam clips by adding the dash cam icon to your bottom bar. And I'll show you right now. Go to the bottom of the screen, press and hold any of the app icons to enter edit mode. Drag the dash cam to the bottom bar for quick access. Then close the app window. Put the car into drive so that the Tesla cam is running for the demonstration. If you press the dash cam button, you will see that a message appears on the bottom left of the screen indicating that the video has been saved. I have two bonus undocumented changes that I want to share with you. In version 11 of Tesla software, many icons that appeared in the status bar along the top of the screen were moved to the top of the control screen. While in park, some of the icons returned to the top of the screen. For example, we have the home link, which appears here. Press and you can see those options. Sentry cam can be turned on and off. Then driver profiles, when pressed, allows you to choose which one you want. And finally, Wi-Fi on the far right. When you switch into drive, some of the icons disappear, as seen here. Other icons such as Bluetooth, software update notifications, and car notifications will only appear in the top of the controls menu. The second undocumented update is nearby charging locations. This was removed in version 11 from the map, but now it is back again. If you press the lightning bolt icon on the right side of the map, it will bring up local superchargers that are within the map view. Notice that the icon with three lightning bolts is highlighted right here. This indicates superchargers. If you want mid-speed charging, press the icon with two bolts. The single bolt is for L2 charging. So if you want the maximum amount of choices, select all three icons. And if you're on a road trip and need the quickest charge possible, select the icon with the three lightning bolts. There is a third undocumented item, but one that doesn't appear in my car, possibly since it may be a feature in newer cars than my 2018 Model 3. It is called windshield wiper defrost and heated wipers. This is supposed to clear snow and ice from the wiper blades by turning on the windshield wiper defrost for improved visibility. To enable, tap the wiper defrost icon in the climate control pop-up. Wiper defrost will automatically turn off after 30 minutes and will only activate when temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, when enabled. Well, that wraps up my overview of the 2022.4.5 system update. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.